ideally Conway Boyer front row, Harvick Burton, Menard Truex. That's the first six positions. From there, anything. Anything can go from there. They can just qualify wherever the fuck they want after that. But that's the ideal qualifying order. You hear that game? Conway Boyer front row. You hear me? Are y'all listening? Are we living cleared and clear? Well, I mean, that's almost what I wanted. We got Boyer and Burton up here. This is the perfect fucking order if it wasn't for fucking Biffle. This is, this is, this is great. Kenseth 8th, he'd be losing spots on the outside. John Wood 14th, I could easily catch his bitch ass. Okay, here's my strat for this. We're gonna let Biffle have the pole. Hopefully he leads the most laps, and then he's our only issue moving forward. Okay, follow me. Follow me, Paul. Everything is most certainly not all right. I need you to check the entire field up for me, buddy. Uncle Cracker Strats is going to save us one more time here at Texas. Here we go. All right, Montoya's pulling out a line to give me some draft. That's of, uh, that's of use. That's of benefit. Okay, I need to get on a charge. Whatever you say, crew chief. I'm going to just run my race, I've decided, actually. I don't need your shit, buddy. Keep following. All right, here we go. Into the corner. Casey, oh yeah, there it is. Positions. Biffle's just driving off. That's not good. But I mean, could be worse, I guess. Don't do that, you fucking prick. Okay, we're going really slow now. I would love to redo that, but I don't think I have the option. Okay, keep following. That minimap looks really good. It looks like they have the vast majority of the field hella behind them. Yeah, they're both on the bottom line there. The guys on the outside are too slow to pass them, and the guys on the inside aren't making a move to get around them. This is the best possible thing that could be happening. Is that fucking Mike Wallace blowing up? That is Mike Wallace blowing up. That takes out a championship contender. We have removed a championship contender from the equation entirely. That is amazing news. I wish Biffle would do that. I wish Biffle would blow up. All right, guys. Okay, my teammates have helped out a lot. Oh, Paul fell back. That's unfortunate. But Truex is still up there, looks like. Truex is still in the top ten. Don't fucking guard crowd me. Crowd and bitch. Oh my god, there's so few laps left. Fucking halfway, dude. We're halfway through the field, though. The only problem at this point is Biffle. Because there's... Oh, there's Kenseth in the field just checked up so hard. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. Did we see John Wood at any point? Did I miss passing John Wood? Is that him back there? No, that's fucking the Juicy Fruit 41. Man. Biffle's leading all these fucking laps. He's about to gain 50 points on me. Dude, I'm not even past Truex yet. Okay. Here we go. Alright. Truex, you are the best teammate that I could have asked for. Dude, you have saved this season. We're up to 11. And I mean... That's not very helpful considering Biffle's led every fucking lap. And he's about to gain 50 points on me. Plus. 50 points plus. Yeah, I just gotta cause the caution now. Okay. Alright, we can hope that he gets passed on this restart. I'm not exactly hopeful on that, but... We're almost to the top 10, so that's good. Okay, they're just checking up for no reason. I'll accept that. Acceptable turn of circumstance, right there. Come on. No, I'm relying on Boyer to give me success again. 
And that is John Wood up there. I'm going to lose points to him annoyingly. Come on, Boyer. Please. He's not going for it, damn it. All right. That's annoying. Danny O'Quinn could grab a spot from uh, John Wood here. Not that it really matters. At this point, it's only it's Biffle and only Biffle that's a problem. If they could just pass him, but no one's bothering to go underneath his ass. Oh, and John Wood's making up spots. How cute is that? Immediately, as I say, it's no longer a problem, of course. I'm trying to give these guys on the bottom the draft. No. No, he's looking. Oh, he's looking. That five points can make all the difference, Boyer. Can you get up there and make the pass? No? No, you're just going to get next to him and do nothing? All right, thanks. Thanks for absolutely nothing, Boyer. Great. Spectacular. All right, so I'm guessing John Wood has caught me. And Biffle's passed me. So that's 195 points for Greg Biffle. I got 140 fucking two. 53 points. 50 fucking three point swing. Only 18 to John Wood. So that's that on that. That's all that she wrote on that one there. That's about as good as that race could have gone, I'm thinking. We're going to have to accept that outcome. And just keep re-rolling Phoenix until Biffle's not on the pole. Two races remain in this stupid, stupid, stupid challenge. 20 points is the difference between me and Greg Biffle going into Phoenix. He's all that matters. John Wood being on the pole would be a problem at Phoenix, but basically anyone else, just Biffle on the outside. We just need, we just need a little bit, man. We just need a little bit. And then we can re-roll Homestead qualifying as many times as it takes. I'm sure I can drive up to 10th at, 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 at Homestead. Stuttering like a bitch over here. Forty-three cars on this racetrack that could potentially get the pole position every single time we roll this shit. And every single time you put the exact same one of those 43 cars on the pole. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting how this works? Isn't it interesting? Alright, this is bait. Where's, B where's Biffle starting? Seventh? I mean, it's about the best that I got. Alright, we already have a full round of wedge out. I mean, yeah. You know, this track usually, sometimes they cycle through the uh, running order. Yeah, Dale Jr. qualifying last right when I say that. Oh yeah, getting him back in the track is going to make him automatically qualify on the pole for the next race. Oh, definitely. Definitely, Kamikaze. You really know your fucking NASCAR 2008 on PS2. You sure are intelligent. Yeah, this is usually a bit of a cycly track where they exchange the top spot every once in a while, at least I think. Okay, 33rd on the first lap. It's not the greatest start that you'll ever have. See, Menard's in the lead. He might have even led that lap. That'd be cool if so. We just need to screw Biffle over. I'm sure he's working on the lead right now. Literally all I need to do is just run him into the wall in the corner, and it should cost him a good 10 spots. In fact, what am I, oh, yeah. That's why I'm not doing my team commands, because Menard's no longer my teammate. Ah, uh, once again, destroyed by Hubris. No surprise there. Damn, dude, we're only 22nd on lap three. That's concerning. That's what you like to see? I don't know, man. What I like to see is Biffle not on the pole, and it sure took a lot of effort to ensure that. Okay, he's third right now. I would love it if he got no points. 
No bonus points. Ooh, look at Boyer passing Biffle maybe for this time actually. As opposed to last time when he did not pass Boyer, Biffle, whatever the fuck his name is. Ah, uh, sure looks like he's just riding in line. That sure does look like what's happening. In fact, if anything, Boyer's the one getting passed. Okay, there's that's John Wood getting completely shuffled out of the top ten, so so much for him gaining any points. Alright, I'm getting closer. Getting closer to Biffle. We're closing the gap. Okay, John Wood's back to making passes on the bottom back there. And Biffle definitely is going for this spot on Hamlin. And he's going to get it, because of course he is. Yeah, look at his bitch ass. Alright. Move on, Alright. Here we go. Alright. Fucking use the Intimidator feature. If it means getting around Biffle, use it. Okay, push Hamlin so he gets past Biffle, and now just fucking hit your ass. I gotta hit him hard, otherwise he's just gonna float. Okay, just pass. Passes. Make some passes. Fuck all of you. Make passes. Pass fucking Biffle, please. Okay. You're killing me, Smalls. Okay, pass him. Please, God, pass him. All right. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the position that we're in. Okay. Gotta hope... Okay. Yeah, John Wood ahead of Biffle, that's alright. We got two laps to get from 7th to 1st. I don't know where I had to get from on the earlier Phoenix race. But winning this would be excellent. And it might Biffle might even get past here. He's getting hounded from behind back there. Okay. Into the corner. Move. Okay, I gotta somehow pass three cars in four corners. Okay, Conway, you need to not. Alright, well. Looks like we gotta do the exact same thing I did in the spring. In the spring. Come on. At least pass Hamlin. Oh, God. At least pass Hamlin. No, fuck off back there. Get back, Hamlin. Back! All right, third place it is then. Where'd Biffle finish? He did not get passed even once. Something tells me that we are tied with Greg Biffle in points. Well, I got the contract clauses, so that's lovely. Okay. All right, 165 versus 138. That is how many points? I gained, um, 40, 27, 27 points. Okay, so I lead by seven. Seven points is what I lead by. Oh, who is that? Gross. All right, well... So, definitely going to want to go back to the 8 car. Not because it's just the iconic car for this playthrough, but I would really like to have Menard and Truex as teammates again. That would help immensely, probably. Alright, goodbye to this contract. Oh, I could suddenly re-sign with Childress. I don't know when that happened. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, Dale Earnhardt Inc. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back, boys. And let's just take a quick look at it. It was 68 points back, I think, in the, uh, was it 68 points back in the previous one here? Seven point advantage. John Wood is relevant, Matt Kenseth is not really, and Mike Wallace is done. Mike Wallace, the collapse. It was over for him at Texas, if we're honest. So it's pretty much 1v1, Greg Biffle versus Kyle Larson. Two of the NASCAR 75 going at it for the Bush Series Championship in an eight-lap race at the fabled, fabled Homestead Miami Speedway. The 4-300, the final race in the NASCAR 08 Earn Your Stripes playthrough. That started six years ago. 
It all comes down to this. One last event. And one last poll for Greg Biffle, I'm assuming. Huh? Tell me, game. Oh, shit, it's not. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Fifth. Fifth for the Biff. Okay. Car setup. I probably haven't touched the setup at this track. Yeah, get a round, half round, a full round of wedge out. Um, man, we just gotta go for it, dude. I just have to beat Biffle. I have a seven point lead. I can finish like one spot behind him. Yeah, and if he leads a lap, it's basically just beat him. The final race in the NASCAR Old Eight playthrough. It's been years in the making, but we're here. And like, I just, I would like to have my friends help me out here, but like, they're just gonna check out, you know what, fuck it, just any help I can get. They're just gonna check up the line that Biffle's not in, thereby giving him positions. But like, look at the speed. Look at the fucking speed. I don't know if the speed is entirely because I told my friends to help me. But we're 20, 30th, 30th on lap one. That's a good start right there is what that is. All right. I see Biffle up there. I think he's fourth currently. Boyer to the lead. That's interesting, I guess. I didn't even see where John Wood's starting. I don't even care at this point. I see John Wood up there. Yeah, there he is. There's two 3M cars up there battling in the top five. Truex and Menard, you have been so good to me. You've been better than any teammate that I could have ever asked for. Paul Menard and Martin Truex Jr., just give it up. Just a round of applause for the greatest teammates ever. I love them. Okay, I don't want to risk a caution coming out, because I don't want to risk Biffle getting spots. He's the lead 3M car at this time, because of course he is. Come on, car. Oh, we got a lot of ground to gain still. Yeah, Biffle going for second as we speak. Naturally. Okay, we're 16th. This is a good run. We need a little bit more, though. And we need a little help. There's Kenseth. Kenseth is going for second on Biffle. Or one of the 3M cars in any case. Just as long as the 3M car is not leading, we're in good shape. We're 14th on lap 5, halfway through the race. Come on. Come on, keep him held up on the outside. Boyer, I need you to actually help me out for once. Come on, go, 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 go. Okay, get in the draft. That'll help us out, maybe. I'm running out of laps. But they're falling back. They're not trying to get down. I don't know which 3M car is which. Okay, the one in front is Biffle, of course. But we're ahead of John Wood. Kenseth is basically irrelevant. Even if he wins, we should be fine. Oh, Biffle's getting hounded, dude. He's losing spots. I don't even know if I want to throw a caution. I just have to beat Biffle. That's all we gotta do, dude. Oh, even Cleaver's abandoning him. Look at that. Cleaver's abandoning him at this point. Biffle sees it falling apart at the seams. He's on the outside. We're here. Oh my god, dude, we're here. Go, car, go. Two to go from Homestead. I don't know who the 180 is, but he needs to make this move. Okay, bad things are happening now. Biffle's making up spots again. We're right on his ass. Oh, a checkup. Oh, a perfectly timed checkup. Use Intimidator. Use Intimidator. Slow his ass down. Intimidate him. We're there. To the inside of Biffle. Kenseth is in the lead, but that doesn't matter. Oh, we passed Biffle. I think we passed Biffle at this point. White flag is out. It's been... The biggest black mark on the channel. Oh, God, dude. Sorry, K I'm sorry, Reagan. The biggest black mark on the Kamikaze Games channel. And
and it was the one that I never thought that I was going to be able to get. The Kamikaze Games Revenge Tour. It continues. We're a Bush Series champion! Qualifying last in every race! On the shortest race length possible! Keith Urban would be proud! It's over! It's over! NASCAR 08! I said it wasn't possible! Oh! Highlight reel, I need some thumbnails. Please give me a thumbnail. Not these fucking fixed cameras. It would be great if I get a shot of me and side by side with the six teams. That may be a little spoilery. There's me nearly dying. These cameras suck. These cameras are shit. Alright, there's one good camera. Almost. It's almost a good camera angle. <laughs> oh yeah, there it is. The fucking bros. The fucking squad. Making it happen. The Chance 2 Motorsports squad. I can't thank Truex and Menard enough. They were literally better teammates than I could have ever asked for. Oh, there it is. This is the shot right here. Well, I mean, it would have been the shot if the camera wasn't such AIDS. I want to see it, man. Give it to me. Oh. My. Goodness gracious. There's no music because I turned the sound off. And whoever my teammate is looks like Austin Sindrick, which is cursed. But it doesn't matter! Kyle Larson is a Bush Series champion. Oh, fucking Louia. I never thought I'd see the day. By 32 points. Kyle Larson over Greg Biffle, Matt Kenseth, John Wood, and the biggest knockdown dragout championship in NASCAR history. Better. The, the, the critics will say it was better than 2003. That is what the critics are going to say, pretty much. And Johnson won the cup championship. That's kind of cursed. But on the season that we get, nine wins, 26 top tens. Damn, dude. That's a good, that's good. That is a good, if you ask me. And then we can take a look at the contract history, the cars that made it happen. Seven wins in the eight. I got one win in every car that I drove. That's pretty cool. Yeah, dude. And we got how many top fives? Five plus 12. 17 top fives. Nine wins, 17 top fives, 26 top tens. That kind of sounds like the NASCAR 05. Bush Series Championship, but with eight wins instead of nine. Interesting. Funny how that works out. Well, there you go. I, I already won a Bush Series Championship on this save file. Maybe it's in the archive. Our archive Bush Championship? No. Just a bunch of skip charity races. Awesome. Well, there you have it. You're nearing the end of the season. You're telling me. Skipping the cup race. There you go. There you go. Kyle Larson, Bush Series champion. We made it happen. It wasn't easy. There's no retirements, because of course there aren't. But there is one more thing that we haven't done yet in this playthrough. After... Being a fan of Kyle, after not liking Carl Larson when he started, because in 2014, he drove like a jackass at Daytona and was generally not very impressive. It wasn't until he won at California and almost won the cup race that I was like, okay, maybe he's actually good. And I actually liked Kyle Larson all the way through 2017 until 2018 when he kept losing races that he should have won. And everyone was sucking his dick saying he was so good, but he could never win any fucking race. I'm just sitting here like, why does anyone like him? <laughs> He's nothing but a disappointment to everyone. And then he said the gamer word. And after he said the gamer word, he was awarded 
with the contract that everyone at Reddit said that he should have had from the beginning. Hendrick Motorsports, number five, Kyle Larson to the five in the Cup Series. Ladies and gentlemen in the audience, thank you all so much for watching the NASCAR 08 playthrough. This has been... Uh, this was not easy. I could have done better. It could have been way less dramatic than it was. But, that being said, I'm glad that we finally got this shit done and out of the way. This is one of the things that has been, like, cursed. A cursed, a cursed playthrough that I knew I could beat. But, like, the one attempt that I did did not go well. And it completely demoralized me. And, but we're back. I came back. We got the bag. And NASCAR 08 is done. And I have done two games of NASCAR 08 on this channel. I don't think I ever need to play NASCAR 08 again on the channel, if I'm honest. I feel like we've done everything that needs to be done. So thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video that I do. And as always... I don't know where the Revenge Tour is going next. I don't know what NASCAR game is coming next. I have no idea of any of those, those fucking things. So it's anyone's guess what video is next. Hope to see you in whatever it is. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. NASCAR Await has finally come to an end. See you then. Bye. And this man does not care about terrain, for he is a doom buggy. Oh, never mind! The police officer annihilated him! Did you see that? The balloons are in the way! The balloons are with the enemy! Look at this! Look at this! Run failed! What? It's miserable to play sometimes, but I love the game. Oh, the camel's standing! Oh, the camel was sitting last time we were over here. Now the camel's standing! Dynamic camels! The selling point for this game. Dynamic camels. That is amazing.